we are live. Welcome to Season 2, Episode 2 of The Mandalorian Thoughts, The Passenger. And as usual, spoilers. I like that at first the bounty hunters have the upper hand on Mando, but he does end up winning. And he appears to give up the jetpack, but he can control it remotely. He has a remote chance to control it, so he flies around until the alien falls off, and then back to him. Very cool, very funny. You finally found a Mandalorian, and you killed him. I mean, it's a pretty rough galaxy, so... Logical guess. I thought the mechanic was kidding, but according to the subtitles, the alien's name really is Dr. Mandible. Dr. Mandible is an ant, man. Peyton Reed directed the episode. And the bots cook the crate dragon meat by a jet engine. Very clever. She said all that. I paraphrased. The subtitles identify that alien as Frog Lady and her language as Frog, so I guess the people in charge of naming characters and languages were just not feeling that creative on that day. Frog Lady was like, this container will keep my spawn nice and safe. But the child was like, I don't know why this fridge closed turquoise, but the food inside it, while I would appreciate more than one flavor, is delicious. I quite like the bit with the X-Wing pilots. There's a subtle sense of tension since these are cops and he is on the outskirts of the law and he did literally break in, help break into a, one of their facilities recently. But they're not particularly verbally aggressive with him, gradu but gradually it does get to where he needs to escape them. It really, like, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, the, the cops are pulling him over. It's just the Star Wars equivalent, you know, they're, they're asking some, some standard questions. They gotta identify, you know, they, they need identification and, you know, the, the, yeah, just, I really like how the, the, the show is giving us these what should be mundane Star Wars moments. They're, they're mundane to us when they happen in our galaxy, but in the Star Wars galaxy, they're, yeah. Mando gets to the planet. What's it made of? Yes, it's ice. Mando catches the child eating more of the eggs. It cuts to later, and Mando's like, damn, we're in a tight spot. And the frog lady uses the droid to communicate with Mando. She is one clever amphibian. I thought honor was part of the Mandalorian code. I guess those are just stories for children. Verbal mama bear moment. Holy crap. Hey, kid. I said, hey, what's going on? The frog lady left. It's fortunate that Mando has that special vision mode that's be that makes spotting the footprints especially easy. Make me wonder if the helmet has as many vision modes as a Predator mask in Predator 2, not the games where it doesn't have quite as many. I hope it lets him put funny filters over people's faces like various social media apps like Snapchat, Instagram, do could help him keep his cool during tough negotiations. The Mandalorian version of Imagine Them All Naked. And the child gets curious about the eggs, which starts the spiders emerging and prompts the arachnophobes to jump a good 20 feet in the air. I think Mando should just keep Baby Yoda away from eggs for the time being, because it's not really going well. I've never been afraid of spiders. That's how we get more Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Spider's man. Nothing wrong with them, but I can't deny the massive spider chasing Mando is epic. And one of the spiders webs Mando's gun hand. One of them jumps, but he catches it in the air and squishes it. Badass. And as the spiders nearly overwhelm Mando, even though he isn't singing it, I mean, saying it, there's some chance that he's thinking, this is it, we're going to die, I wish we hadn't done this. And the frog lady shoots some of the spiders that had gone for the child. Parental solidarity, very nice. And Mando uses the flamethrower to finish off the spiders trying to get into the ship so he can now close the door. And I'm just hungry for some fried meat. There's probably not any cooked crate meat left, is there? And a massive spider attacks the Razor Crest, but gets fired upon defeating it. So Mando goes to find out who shot that thing, and the X-Wing pilots came to the rescue. I like the conversation negotiation between the X-Wing pilots and Mando. A couple of things that were pointed out in the new Rockstars video on this episode. The episode was directed by Peyton Reed. Originally, the Ice Spiders were supposed to be in the original trilogy. The scene where Baby Yoda approaches the spider eggs is very similar to the original Alien movie with Kane approaching eggs. I've seen some say that the episode is essentially an escort mission. That's very true. 
significantly less frustrating and infuriating than most escort missions I've personally played, but then again, I'm not controlling. Honestly, if if this level if this episode was a level in a video game, it probably would be very frustrating. Multiple separate reaction videos to this episode have people reacting, calling for Mando to use the flamethrower on the spiders right before he does. So the people doing the show anticipated the reaction quite well. And that's it for this episode. I'm really looking forward to next episode. I know not everybody loves that a lot of these episodes are these one-off side quest kind of things. Not really an overarching plot. He's kind of going from place to place doing favors for people. I think it works. But yeah. So until next week, may the force be with you.